Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the BBG. Bit of a new one here today, Skull and Bones. I just really wanted to talk about it since I played a few hours of it over this open beta weekend. I wasn't originally going to play this until a couple of my mates were like, yo, let's play this, let's be pirates. And I was like, all right, I mean, why not? It's free. Let's go have some fun. We'll drink rum and be pirates, you know. Well, all three of them stopped playing 40 minutes after they downloaded it and got through the tutorial because they entered frame rate drops to like two or three the only reason we could think of is because they have nvidia cards and i use amd that doesn't make sense to begin with because i'm sure there's plenty of people with nvidia cards that i mean the game's working perfectly fine for it's just that i know they all have practically supercomputers, so it was weird that they couldn't do anything no matter what they did they ended up stopping playing literally 40 minutes afterwards and i've just been playing by myself because i mean i downloaded it i'm gonna play it a bit but it's really, it's good, but it's also kind of average. I'm going to explain why. Now, the ship fairing is absolutely amazing. There's really no other way to explain it, to be honest. This is an absolutely amazing feeling. Just steering your own ship really gives me black flag vibes, for sure. The first few hours of gameplay are absolutely stunning. Honestly speaking, if it runs on your computer, it's it was a great time. I had so much fun in the first two hours of this game until I reached that three, four hour mark. I play for about five hours now. I'm on the rank three ship. There's people that are on the rank 10 ship. I've got no idea how they've done that unless they've just not slept and they've just absolutely smashed out getting their infamy level up, which the only way to do that is either farming pirates, farming the company, farming the sea people, farming the clan of Pharaoh, whatever. But doing that just requires you to do the same thing over and over again. Sink ships, get XP, get loot, store it, sell it, whatever. And doing that over and over and over and over and over again is not really my idea of a good time. So I've just been relaxing and like just having fun with it. And the more I do it, the more I'm really just reminded of another game when I play this. But many years ago, I used to play a game called Star Trek Online. And I'm sure plenty of people who will be watching this have played that game as well. And if you play Skull and Bones Beta, then you know what I mean. This game is literally exactly like Star Trek Online, except, you know, you're on ships instead. It's, it's so similar that it's kind of scary. Obviously, it's a bit different. The graphics are absolutely amazing. It looks spectacular to do, and it's spectacular to witness. Oh my god, I just crashed into the wall, but it's fine. Because my ship's damn near invincible. Ow. Do not shoot me. Oh yeah, that's my long gun. Holy crap. Have some torpedoes. Not sure why they're in this part. <laughs> Hell, why not? Boom. Explosions. It looks wonderful. Feels wonderful. Loot. It's, it's all good. It's just missing ground stuff, man. Even in Black Flag, you could fight with your crew. In this, there is, there is pretty, you might as well not have a crew. Honestly speaking. Where are you going? What are you doing, ship? You're dead. I don't know why I have torpedoes. I don't know, but they work. Because objectively, this is a great game. It's fun. I just wish there was more to do. Now, I don't know if the full release is going to actually like add some more stuff that like drastically changes the way the game's done. But this is just like a timer. All you've got to do is sit here while your crew faces off against you have no idea because you've got no idea what they're fighting, how they're fighting or who they're fighting except, you know, the settlement's name. This is the company that I'm fighting. The only thing that I have to do is literally kill the ships that spawn while that time limit's going on. That's it. And that's obviously fine with me. I enjoy that. Yeah! But the problem comes when it's all you do. There is literally nothing else to do except get a bigger ship that's it i was really hoping for there to be just more you know a quadruple a game and in, all i'm doing is running around blowing up the same ships 
Like, even, even if I board them. Oh, come on, you missed. You missed that. You were right there. Board them properly! Oh, they died. Okay. I just tapped them slightly and they exploded. It happens. And now it gets slightly harder. <laughs> just... Eat it! Oh my god. The destruction is lovely though. Oh, they got mortars. Oh my god. Oh yeah, there's a lot of them this time. Ramming speed! Oh, you're lucky. And this is it. Over and over and over again. This is it. There's some other features, but and I'll show you them in a second. But this is what you do. This is all there is. Damn it, just let me board you, bro. There we go. Now this is the boarding process. There's no real fighting. They just jump on, they get the loot, they leave. That's it. Boarding is done. Nothing else to do. Ship gets scuttled. Move on. Now there is one thing I do like with the way they've done elite fights. It's that you do need groups to do elite fights and it's super fun being with people and like just being on ships flying around, well floating around and fucking up a giant elite ship that is absolutely insanely powerful and getting cool rewards. That is fun. That is absolutely fun. They've done that well. It's just not enough. On top of the fact that most of the people who play this have gone so hard on it that they're so much further ahead than people who are casual. As I said, people are like rank 10 on it. You can't do anything. If you're rank 3 to 7, you can't compete with anything in 10. And you can't join anything those people are doing. So I'm not sure if I'm getting the full experience. Probably not. Probably not. I was just hoping to enjoy a nice pirate experience. Another person who is riding in a beta, which is one rank below. This ship. Hey, hey, hey! Stop shooting at me, you cheeky shit. Yeah, I'm just gonna run away. It's irrelevant. Now, one of the other things I don't particularly like about it, I like the idea of it. Obviously, you've got to get materials and that. But the only way to get materials is like going up with your ship and actually gathering them like this. They should have at least made this doable on land. Just. So that you could, I don't know, interact with people while you're farming. Obviously, there's still ships floating around, but the chat's disabled in this beta anyway, so that doesn't really matter. It's just, everything is on the water. It's good and bad, I don't know. There's just too much nothing in between the somethings. Now, I've seen rank 10 people fighting before. I went to a play session of, it was off down here somewhere. There were a bunch of 10s down there. It was like a... Not really a fleet, but it was three level 10 Corsairs flying by. And I think the joy in this game is getting and grinding for the bigger weapons, bigger ships, obviously. But it's just stunning to me how similar that is to Star Trek Online, honestly. Bigger ship, more weapon slots, more weapon slots, more pew pew, more pew pew, more you can do. It's kind of to the point I'm curious if they took a little bit of inspiration from it. That's a big boy. Let's shoot at it. Surely some damage. What a dodge. Okay, yeah, it's a big one. I hope it's not a rammer. Oh, it's got torpedoes! Oh my god! Fire musket!
No! They had some cannons on that bitch. I can't go in front of it! Oh my god, I almost got hit by a torpedo. Come here, let me board ya. Let me board ya! God, my turning circle's trash! Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Come on now. Well, it wouldn't let me board it. Fine. No! Oh, I found the company's level 10. These things are absolutely terrifying. They got mortars, they got who knows how many cannons. Obviously, it would be very fun to play one of them. It's just I really hope there's more to this game than just this. This It's... I don't know, man. It just feels empty. Either way, the beta's about to end and I'm... Umming and ahhing over buying it because if you get it, uh, you know, while you played the beta, you get to keep all your progress. But they're also, it's quite an expensive game. Uh -huh. So, uh, it's hard, man. It's hard. Oh my god, the town's shooting at me? Fuck, you got long range guns. Oh, braced. I'm out. I'm leaving. Jesus. Fine. But, you know, I hope this game does do well. I hope it improves upon itself in, you know, every update that ever comes from it. It's claiming to be a quadruple-A game or whatever, so... Man, it's just a lot to have given themselves in terms of pressure, especially considering how the bait has gone. I don't know. I guess we'll see either way. I'm probably not going to get the full game. It's it's just there's not enough. It's not enough in it. It's been five hours and I'm not sure what's left outside of maybe end game raid. You can only get to Brigand in the in the beta, that's where a fair few people are, but I just it's a lot of blowing up the same ships to get there and not doing anything else. <laughs> ah, anyway. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. As always. Have a great day.